All right, in this video, we're gonna play around with this tool. It's an endoscope, basically a line with the camera on the end that you can use to inspect small places. And this is a uh, fairly inexpensive one. I think it's around 30, 35, maybe 40 bucks. Depends on the length you get. This was uh, sent to me by Charles Limoges Amazon shop team. Will you review this? I usually say no, but this is something I've been wanting to play around with. Should come in handy. This connects via Wi-Fi to whatever screen you wanna use it on. That's part of why it's so cheap. You don't have to pay for a screen. Wireless Wi-Fi boroscope inspection. Two megapixel snake camera with light. This one's a 50 foot length. That's huge. How would you, some instructions. So like I guess I gotta download the app. That's fairly small. I think uh, I read in the description that that's less than a quarter inch. It looks like a quarter inch. These are different end pieces you can put on. This is a hook, like maybe you have a wedding ring or something down the drain. And this is a side angle mirror. Maybe, oh, maybe there's like a turn in the pipe you can't, you need to see to the side. And that one looks like, what's going on there? App Store. Search the free app, quote, HD Wi-Fi. That looks like it. It's got two and a half stars. I don't want to read all that. Only one review with actual... Wish this app had a different name. It looks like an app for my router. So you turn it on and this little blue light comes on. You go to your Wi-Fi settings and you join that second one down. Jeton, Jeton, Jet. They want a password. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hit join. All right, then we launch this app. Oh, look at that. It's already working. Very anamorphic. Let's rotate it. Oh, that's a magnet. This is a magnet on the end. So you can grab small things. It's got a little bit of a pull. Okay. So it has enough peripheral vision. You guys see that? It has enough peripheral vision around the edge of the lens that you can still see down if you're going down a pipe or something. So it can't. Yeah, okay, that's how you record. I mean, it's not great footage at all. But it doesn't need to. It's a tool, you're not. Unless you're doing something real creepy with this. Let's put on the sideways one. Okay. Alright, it's a bit obstructed, but, you know, it works. All right, that's a, a light brightness right there. I'll zoom in. That's a digital zoom. So there's no actual real zoom going on there. That's on and off. And that's just to save a picture. Okay, so let's find something fun to do with this. The barrel of a gun. Go past the choke. There we go. A Mosin. This gun uses corrosive ammo, so it's nice if you're gonna buy one to maybe look down. This gun, let's see, I don't know if this will even fit. Come on, no. What about this, this direction? You can get in there a little bit. You can see the rifling. Let's point some light down the end of the barrel. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Here's a nine millimeter. This is a Springfield. Let's look at the, it's nice and clean. Look how clean that is. All right, that's enough of guns. Let's do something else. Okay, here's a little drain from the gutter. It's full of water. Let's see what it looks like underwater, huh? It's hard keeping this thing straight. You know, if you're gonna, you couldn't snake 
uh, this much line through easily. You'd have to like attach it to uh, something. All right, let's try something else. All right, here we're gonna look up the uh, exhaust pipe of this car. Hit the end of there. If you wanted to see more, you'd have to put on the mirror. <laughs> I feel like I'm 10 years old. This is a water shutoff valve. Let's just take a look. There's a little hole on the top. The concrete slab on my back patio is sinking a little bit, so I want to look underneath there. Go down here. Got some plant growing. Good luck. Feel like I'm watching an episode of The Littles or something. This is really dark on this screen. It's a massive void. It's hard to control the camera when it's a huge opening like this. It's a little bit better in confined spaces. All right, how about looking inside this tank? So this has not been drained in a long time and you gotta get the water out, otherwise it'll weaken the inside. And you can see how wet it is in here. All these rust spots are just weakening the walls. So it'll blow if, if it gets too weak. I wanna try and uh, get the camera to lie here where most of the sediment would be. So I'm gonna tip this. Yeah, it looks like a pile of sludge. Oh, tank should not look like that. Again, you can see that you don't get a super clear view, but you know, if you're using this tool, it usually means you're pretty desperate. So this part worked really well. It's a straight drop about 15 feet below and you can access the sewer line from here. If you see standing water at the bottom, that means you have a blockage uh, in between this part and the street. If not, it's between this part and up into your house. But this is raw sewage. You really want to sanitize the end of this camera once you get it back out. Inspecting down the dryer, you can see if there's lint or any kind of blockage down here. If you're going to shove this in appliances, make sure it's unplugged because the end is metal and you can't bridge some circuits and either fry boards or do other kind of damage. This works really well for looking under or behind appliances. That's a magnet that's stuck to the bottom of the fridge. There's a candle, I think that's a cookie, half of a cookie or something. Here's a look down the storm drain. This is a gopher hole and they make a twisted maze of tunnels and it, I could only get it in about a foot before it hit the mud wall. All right, so thanks Charles for sending this to me. It was fun to play around with it. Uh, if I was gonna buy this, I would not get the 50 foot length because that's way more length than I think I'll ever need. I think 25 would be my max. 20 foot would be good because uh, I won't use this tool that much, maybe once a year tops. It's one of those tools that, you, you know, it's indispensable if you need it, but you don't need it that much. So like a metal detector, you know, if you need it, awesome to have, but you're not gonna use it that often. Um, so yeah, 20, 25, because if you're going a 50 foot length, uh, I, you know, I can't think of any jobs I'd have that long, but you'd have to attach this to some other uh, pole or something so that you could make it through because this will bunch up uh, when you're going that kind of length. I don't think you can make, push this through five, 10 feet without it kind of binding up on you. It's stiff, but not that stiff. Um, what else? So yeah, if you want one, the links are under the, the description. I'll take you to Charles' uh, Amazon page and buy it there. And it's an affiliate link, so you can support the channel at the same time. Um, I guess that's it. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, next video will be a, another security camera system. This one's wireless. Last one we did was a Lorex wired system. This one's much cheaper and uh, we'll see how we like it. So anyway, if you're interested in that, I'll see you next time. Take care and have an awesome day.